us. Like it was always, he was like, yo, this is what I want. And face, we looked at it like, if face says, okay, cool. Like, like, right. for, cause at the end of the day for us, our is king shit, that's us. So for him wanting to just put the crown on, you know, that's something 3000 would never do. So he yeah. was kind of like, yeah, so I do that shit, man. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I, will, I gotta ask you about, uh, I thought about T.I. I'm 22, I'm gonna bet in the game. Say I'm a super cool. You know, because he come up, y'all was the first ones. You say, I heard you say y'all was the first one. that Did y'all put him on stage? We put him on TV. First on time TV. he was on BET, we was in D.C. Okay, and but and that was the rubber band, man? No, that was the first album. That was that was when he was signing the face. People didn't even pay attention to the when first they album. Attention to it. They ain't they ain't get on tip till he came back with the second album. That's when he left LA and went Atlantic. Wow. That's, that's when he found it. What you did know? You, what did you think about him as he grew? Because he wanted the dopest guys. I, I watch him I, down there. I, I, I've been watching him since he been a kid. I was gonna like, ask you, what uh, did you think when he came up with the title "I'm the King"? And, and I and thought it was I, was dope. I, I thought it was great because uh, of the South. Uh, of the of that time, I just thought it was great for him to say it, and it was great for him to jump on it and and, and want to run with it. You know, um, his peers said it was cool. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the only person I would even put in the room with him all day long is Lil Wayne. So if Lil Wayne said he was cool, he was like, hey, man, hey, man, I'm the goblin. You can be the king. <laughs> so it's like, it was cool. And then for him to call Scarface, he called, he he came to the dungeon, hollered at everybody, like, man, this is what I want to do. Oh, I just, he, so he was respectful with it. Yeah. He was all the way respectful, all the way around wow, the board, all. all the way from Scarface. Yo, and the very way, young. Yeah, and from Scarface all the way back to us. Like, it was all the way, he was like, yo, this is what I want. And Face, we looked at it like if face says okay, cool. Like, like, because right. at the end of the day, for us, our is king shit. That's us. So for him wanting to just put the crown on, you know, that's some three thousand would never do. So he yeah. was kind of like, yeah, Shawty do that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so for Shawty to do it, we felt like that was our pimp. That was, you know, shot at five high. He gonna get, he gonna get out there and get to it. Like you gonna do all the shit Pim gonna do. So we thought, like, yes, like you could do it, and um. I felt like it was a great thing for him because it just pushed him to want to be the best at that moment in time. You know, um, the whole thing with Lil Flip and all that, I mean, that's what it was. You know what I mean? Like, I looked at all of that as being just the last remnants of what really started in Texas. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? With Mike Jones yeah, and, yeah. and everybody. Mm. I, I felt like that whole the time period, it was a lot of... Yeah. Elbow being thrown, and I think you know either you're gonna take the the the, the front position or you're gonna you know get pushed to the side. And uh, hey, man, you seen what happened? I like the way you uh, the way you explain it when you when you refer to the peers, cause that's very important that yeah, you know yeah. the people that you're dealing with on the level that you're on. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that will get lost in the sauce sometime when you if you just not thinking that way. The way you saying that kind of lines it up and scales it and structures it well, in see, a different way. Okay, so and I say it that way because you know people the execs and stuff like that in New York just never gave the execs from the South any credit. Like they, they just always and see I look at it like this most of the time them same execs that got so much to say about the Lil J's and the Master P's and the babies they never did nothing they never created no X using their own money it was always somebody else's money and I think one thing that the South has showed and proven Texas gonna stand on its own Tennessee gonna stand on its own Georgia Florida, everybody, we got our own music and we got our own heroes. But one thing about it is that our fan bases are a lot loyal. They're, they, they're loyal to us because when our last concert in Dallas, man, like some of my homeboys, they draw, they, they in the lobby drinking moonshine. They like, man, look, man, you know, we from Texas, man. <laughs> <laughs> they, they be drinking moon. They like, give it in the country, man. That soul food out, man, really helped us down here, man. They, people really live to that. We felt like y'all were us, we was y'all's. You know what I mean? And that's, that's to me, that's what 8-Ball MJG what UGK mean to us? Wait like, a minute, I, I, you keep saying 8-Ball MJG, I, I, I got a, my boy Mr. Mike. Here comes the ball, 
It's a new day. So sway your ass and blast with that man back in AK. You know, and I, I that South Circle album was real serious. He to was me. one of the best. <laughs> Like what? Like and what? I told him after I interviewed him, I say, I'm not going to let your name not be mentioned with these people because when I was riding in that car, yeah, it and was I Mike. put that, listen, that when Mike I put that on, right, well, he didn't miss. Yeah, that that nigga didn't miss. Yeah, that tall, he <laughs> that damn. Ice Cube never come to see that boy. Heard a nigga tight name, Mr. Mike. Had to catch a flight. It's only right. Stepped off the plane. Yeah. And then talk, shout out to Tony Draper and all of them, but I'm just saying, yeah. and MJG, eight ball were producing like crazy. A real, but, real time in Texas. Yeah. Texas was on fire then. <laughs> like, <laughs> Houston was on fire. Houston was on fire. Houston was on fire. Houston was on fire then. And, 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 all that shit. You know, <laughs> I, I, you was all listening that, that way. I, I look at it now that crap, that's bro. the reason why I'm, we talking about what we talking about today. Why I have why why I have been able to survive this long is that I've always tried to find what's new. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.